Hi, I'm Lauren Hander and I'm excited to tell you about my craft clean out. A 2021 goal of mine is to detox my craft room. I want to clean out supplies that have been sitting around for years and if I can't use it, it's out of here. So over the next 12 months, I hope my crafty clean out videos inspire you to dig out your old scrap and supplies and together we can make some fun fab fresh layouts and this is my first video for you in this I don't want to call it a series because that implies that I have to do it on a regular basis like on a or like every Monday or something like that it's definitely not going to be that for me it's just when it inspires me I'm going to um, create something, but I'm just going to be a little bit more proactive this year about cleaning out some of those old goodies. And as you can see, I just showed you all those old goodies. Um, they're old. <laughs> there's some We Are Memory Keeper stuff there. Um, and there's some, I thought, well, why not? I'm going to use my Heidi Swap Color Shine, which, you know, you have trouble finding now. And some old Heidi Swap chipboard stickers and some, I think the um, sticker sheet there, the word sticker sheets, I think that was from the Colour Fresh collection. That's, so that's probably not too old, but um, it's definitely the We Are Memory Keepers, all those little frames and things like that and that sticker sheet. Uh, I can't even remember when I got that. So that will be a long time ago. So I'm going to try and use my normal mixed media technique here to build my background. And as you can see, um, Color Shine does not work as well as my usual go-to products, which are inks and uh, magicals like Lindy Stamp Gang powders and watercolors. As you can see, I have to really try and um, work this product to give me that same effect that I really love on my mixed media backgrounds. I'm having a blast. I, I I sat down and I created this layout, and boy oh boy, it felt good. I was in in a really good space, a creative space, and I was just having fun. and And so I really love how this layout turns out. So I'm just playing here and that's the idea of it. I want to use this stuff up. I don't want to replace any of my mixed media stuff until I've used, I've created some space uh, because I have no space. I want to empty things out. And um, so the Heidi, the, the Heidi Swap Color Shine, I have heaps of it. And so I'm going to be really proactive about using up some of those colors and, um, and what a fun way to start with beautiful Heidi products. So, um, yeah, so here I am. I'm just trying to work it. As you saw me do, I, I put a thick layer, well, a couple of layers of gesso onto some white basil marshmallow cardstock. And I've just used a paintbrush and I dipped my paintbrush into the color shine. And I, I pre-spritzed my page with water to help the flow. And then I'm just moving it around and... Then I dabbed off the excess because I wanted that sort of more pastel colours because I knew what I was going to do is come back in and put some splatters on. These splatters have more pigment in them because I haven't rolled them off. As you see here, I'm going to add more. So don't think I'm going crazy. I'm going to add more. And um, I'm just going to create that lovely, magical, kind of mystical thing that I do with my mixed media for my backgrounds. So, yeah, so as I said... The more you water something down, the less pigment, the lighter it gets, the more you dab it up with your paper towel, the more it's going to pick up the pigment. Um, that's a white Heidi Swap Color Shine. It sort of dries clear. It's not a white, white. I have a Liquitex ink, like a white ink that I use normally, but I was using it up. So I thought I'm going to grab the white, So, but it, it's more of a clear. But when you probably can't see it on here, when I dry it off, it does leave a shiny kind of a bit of a glossy little bit little pa little patches where those um that white Heidi shine was um and so it all comes together and I'm and it's me practicing and playing and using things up so as you can see that last layer I have not dried off with the paper towel because I wanted to leave those little richer droplets right at the end just to give it a little bit of pop now I had these little square they're about uh maybe an inch by an inch square they came in a little kit I think we are memory keepers had like little four by four inch albums that had 
um, four pockets um, that came out yonky donks ago and this was a little card set that you could buy so I thought I'm going to play around with these little cards and see how I can use them up and sort of make a bit of a um, sort of a pyramidish kind of theme going onto the side there and and go from there so I've used my edge distressor I've roughed up the edges I've filed them back a bit to give them a bit of texture I've sort of torn them a little bit I've really given them a hard going because I wanted to sort of help get these things to sort of jump off the page like bring them to life a little bit if I'd left them without any distress they would just be really flat on the page and I was trying to really I always try and make layers with my scrapbooking page and I create I try to create dimension and depth and a way of doing that is through putting a level of mixed media on putting like those darker droplets that's the next level roughing up the edges of my pattern paper that's the next level mounting my photo and giving it a bit of a border that's another level and then those embellishments on top again add that extra level and that's where I'm getting those really dimensional kind of layouts using a little bit of foam tape also helps but I'm also mindful sometimes I go a little bit foam tape crazy but I've also been mindful I've got to put these layouts into an album at some stage and those albums are going to get really full if I keep putting dimensional tape on there. So one thing I'm considering always is when I'm purchasing my dimensional tape, I just try and buy the thinnest stuff that I can sort of get my hands on, not really thick dimension only because I'm just trying to save space in my albums and truly my my layouts um, there are times where I'm really pumping out heaps of layouts and and I and at times I kind of look down on the floor and there's a massive pile there of all these layouts I've created and I've really enjoyed the journey but I also think oh my goodness look how big and tall that is I've got, really got to work out a way <laughs> that I create dimension without creating dimension if that makes sense <laughs> but anyway but how delightful um there we go so it's the we are memory keepers inked rose collection these are embossed stickers now i've had them for yonky donks i would probably say years and one of the side effects that in my first sort of craft clean out video i've worked out that your adhesive is not quite as it as adhesive as it was when it first came out I also did a bit of like reflection then when you'll see me I'm going to have to go back and put uh, liquid glue behind each of these stickers that are now more like ephemera because the adhesive is not really it's more grippy than sticky <laughs> and um, so I think one of the things that I've learned already in this little clean it out series, clean, cleaning out my craft series is that um, I'm going to have to put adhesive on my stickers and there are going to be other things, but it also highlighted to me that, well, if I'm noticing this now, what are my albums doing that I've created layouts years ago? And I wonder how those stickers, once I've stuck them down, how they're holding up. So I guess that's in a put that into another to do box is to probably sit down one day and flick through my albums and probably just have my glue there. And as stickers have probably lost their super stickiness, I'm going to have to re stick some things because um, we are memory keepers. I'd never, never thought that this would be a an issue but it, I then realized that this is an issue probably with all stickers and all brands um, and something I'm going to have to be mindful of in the future and maybe I'm going to have to get super sticky all the time <laughs> preempting this to happen on my future layout so extra glue everywhere I think is my lesson for the first video in my crafty clean out series <laughs> So here you go, I'm adding some dimension because I want to get those butterflies to come to life. I wanted to have some flowers that were sort of jumping off. Some I've put dimension, some I haven't put dimension and that's that one way of creating all those levels and sort of bringing the layout to life. Just a sweet little photo here of my gorgeous Katie Jane and our snuggly puppy Elsa. 
I just love these little moments I see all the time of them two just snuggled up together and um, this one she just looked up at me and I had my phone there so I captured this little moment I thought oh gosh it's just, these I just want to document some of these moments even though they happen frequently but it's these everyday moments that I think are just as important as these big events that sometimes occur in our life that we we really want to document birthdays Christmas things like that these little everyday moments are equally as important and um, when you capture a beautiful little moment like this I, you just can't help but want to scrapbook it so the title here, I'm just going to keep that as hello. I love that sort of scripty font that um, the We Are Memory Keepers has done. And I wanted to finish off with some of those stickers, which I think are from the Colorfresh collection. And a couple little chipboard elements, which is really old school stuff. There is also um, that cherished little puffy um, sticker there. I think that came from Heidi's Planner series. Once again, that's probably not too old, but it is uh, probably at least 18 months old there so once again really trying to use some things up I'm not overly a planner person so I but I do have lots of yummy planner goodies so you'll see them popping into some of these videos as I try and use those up as well just incorporating both those little things so finishing off now I'm going to add a little bit of journaling and put some adhesive just to triple check everything is super stuck and yeah, and this is my layout almost complete. If you're new to my channel, a big welcome. I hope you like my scrappy style. I've got plenty of videos. I've got playlists there with different themes. So check that out. If you'd like to support my channel, I would really love it if you become a subscriber. Like the like my videos and also share it with your scrappy friends in any groups that you may have. That really helps my little channel grow and it really does inspire me to create more content for you guys. All right, well, I hope you have liked my very first video in my craft crafty clean out series. And um, I hope it's inspired you to dig out some of those old supplies that are tucked away somewhere and create a fabulous, fun, fresh layout. All right, guys, happy scrapping. Take care. Bye.